Hey there, we are starting on a big adventure right now. We have a short little drive here to start with, and then we're getting on this ferry and heading to Alaska. Let's run into the office and get checked in. Much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. And now we wait for our boarding call. And wait. And wait some more. Yeah. Well, we've got quite a delay going. We've been here for about four hours now. The boat should have left about an hour ago, but uh, they're shipping a part up from Tukwila, Washington, of all places which on a good traffic day, when it's not rush hour, that's about a two hour drive. I don't know what time the part left, but they said we might be out of here by 10 p.m. So Eric, my brother said to me, you guys ought to get yourself an itinerary so that you'd have something to be outraged about right now. <laughs> so thank you, Eric, for the reminder that we can't be outraged about this at all because we don't have any plans other than going to Alaska. We're just heading out whenever we can get there. So one nice thing about this is we went for a little walk and we went just south of here to the Post Point Heron Colony site, which is a, a little nature preserve with about 60 heron nests. And we got to see an exchange between Mr. and Mrs. Heron. You can see it right here. I caught it on video, so that was kind of cool. Well, guess what? I think our truck is finally here. Right back there. And finally, after everyone else, we drive on. There's one space left, and we are the last vehicle loaded. Because we got in so late last night, we weren't able to give you a proper stateroom tour. So we're going to do that right now. And here's our stateroom. It's kind of tiny, but we have a window, which is cool. Top bunk, bottom bunk. We have a little table here that pulls out. Kind of nice. Right over here, tiny little bathroom. With a tiny little shower. dead tired but one thing we learned overnight is that they just give you a sheet and a blanket and there's like this kind of even though we had the temperature up the air was kind of cooler 
So luckily they gave us a chance to go back down to our vehicles. I guess they give us a chance three times a day um, to go down and grab what we need out of the vehicle. Um, I grabbed my blanket and Tim grabbed the blanket because it was chilly last night. Okay, so that's our stateroom. Now I want to give you a quick tour of the ship. So this right here is the little hallway to our room. That's forward up that way. This is aft. And this is deck five. It's also called the cabin deck. And it looks pretty much like this all the way around the whole boat. There's a few places you can cross like this, past the stairway. And then it's just more cabins, just like that. But it's good to note there's a stairway up right here. There's a drinking fountain. And very important for us, toward the aft end, we found an ice machine. So this is great because we brought food with us, but we can only get down to the car deck at certain times during the day. This costs 25 cents and gives you a bucket of ice, so that's a good thing to have. And now I'm moving forward. This is the cabin deck, and if you continue past this one stairway here, you come to the purser's desk. This is where you get your key assignment for your room. So that's pretty much it for the cabin deck. Let's go up to deck six, to the boat deck. Look at what they have all over the boat. It's real-time displays showing vessel position on the map. Right here by the chart, we have the cafeteria. So you can order food here. The cafeteria dining room has a self-service espresso machine and also a microwave and a toaster, so in case you brought any of your own food, you can warm it up. Another very nice feature on deck six is the outside passenger deck where you can walk all the way around the vessel. on the whole vessel, the forward lounge. So we've been just chilling out for a couple hours now. I think we got one of the best seats in the house. Check this out. And let's go up and take a look at the bridge deck. This is deck seven. So there's also the solarium, but we have to go outside to get to it.
There are three places on the inside passage where the route is exposed to the open ocean. This is the first one of those, just west of Johnstone Strait and north of Vancouver Island. And for this one, they gave advance notice over the loudspeaker so that anyone prone to seasickness would have time to take some Dramamine. Soon after that, we were back in protected waters and headed for our first evening on the trip. Friday morning, it was absolutely gorgeous as we came into Ketchikan, our first stop. We had a three hour layover in Ketchikan, so we were able to go ashore for a bit and stroll through town and get in some real good wildlife viewing. Including a couple of bald eagles doing a sky dancing courtship ritual. And then when that was over, we were back on our way. After Ketchikan, we made a stop in Wrangell, followed by a trip through Wrangell Narrows, one of the most picturesque portions of the journey. After Wrangell Narrows, we stopped in Petersburg, and then Juneau, and then Haines, followed by our final stop in Skagway. And just like that, our trip on the ferry is over with. That's Skagway right there. That's the end of the line for us. So it's kind of like the end of one story and the beginning of another one. This was freaking cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. Would you recommend a ferry ride? Oh yeah, definitely. Should they drive on? Should they get a room? Oh yeah, get a room. <laughs> get a room. <laughs> okay, we'll catch up with you on the next one. <laughs>